Governor Greg Abbott announcing on Wednesday that some amusement parks would be able to open beginning June 3rd. Folks over at Joyland say they were notified on Monday to expect some good news and will be opening their doors next week. Kelly Gaze Alyssa Tejas spoke to the folks over at Joyland and she joins us now from McKenzie Park. Alyssa, how are they feeling about this? Owner David Dean tells me they are so excited. As you can see from the sign behind me, they've already changed it to thank you Lubbock as soon as they got the news. Now, of course, this isn't an overnight project. They still have a lot to prepare for before that opening date on June 12th. Wonderful, relieved, thankful. Just a few of the emotions the owner of Joyland Amusement Park, David Dean, is feeling now that they've received the green light from the state to reopen. We just couldn't see a lot at the end of the tunnel. Before Monday, Dean says the last few months have been bleak, having to lay off some of his employees with the park at a standstill. That is until they received a call from the governor's office. That we would have good news this week. That good news, amusement parks like Joyland would be able to open their doors beginning June 3rd for towns with less than a thousand coronavirus cases. I was kind of like I needed to pinch myself because I couldn't hardly believe it. It was so wonderful. Now Dean can get his employees back to work to prepare for their June 12th reopening. So grateful to be able to have them back to work and now we can start having people in the park and create great memories. This job is like my family. It's so much fun working out here. Like Inez Gutierrez with Joyland for 10 years and was laid off for several months. I cannot wait until the 12th when we get to open. I'm so excited. But even with their reopening David says they won't recover their lost time. There's no way. There's no way at all. We just do the best we can. As they prepare for reopening, getting rides ready and implementing CDC guidelines. They do so with smiling faces because they are thankful for the folks who have stood by them and are looking forward to seeing family smiles once again. It's kept us alive. It's the reason we're able to reopen. Now they are accepting applications at this time. They'll also be hosting a job fair Saturday from 10 to 1 and on Monday from 10 to 1 as well. Reporting from McKenzie Park, I'm Melissa Tejas.